Hello and welcome to Life in Royal Level channel. If you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell on. Share, comment and like our videos. If you already subscribe to my channel, you are welcome again to this channel. This channel is created for you. For the persons who are passionate about the monarch lifestyles, about the royalty celebrities and their upcoming new events. Thank you for your making this channel to grow. A lot of us are very interested about the royalties, eating habits, about the food which they are prepared to eat daily. So this video is dedicated for the persons who are interested to know more about the favorite meals and beverages of the royalties. So let's get started. King Philip of Spain reportedly enjoyed his fair share of sticks and burgers until he changed his diet to shoot a few pounds in 2015. Queen Letizia had tended more toward the Periconia diet. Seafood is a big part of Spanish cuisine and often serves as the anchor of the Spanish royals' holiday meals. King Philip is a big seafood fan. His favorite fish is sole. Paella is a very popular way to consume seafood in Spain. Paella is a rice dish that can be made using an array of ingredients from meat or seafood to vegetables or a combination of everything. Queen Leticia of Spain may have a simple piece of salmon with her breakfast as part of your healthy focused periconi diet she follows. Salmon and other cold water fish like trout make up the backbone of the diet and can be eaten at all meals, while Leticia probably eats her salmon relatively plain. Spain is the largest producer of broccoli in the world. Given this fact and that it is an ingredient that is featured in the Periconia diet, it is not surprising that steamed broccoli would be a part of Queen Leticia's eating routine. About half of all the broccoli that is cultivated in Spain comes from the Murcica region, more specifically the Gadaliatian Valley has played the most pivotal role in Spanish broccoli production. However, broccoli is not originally a Spanish vegetable. It was first bred by the Etruscan civilization in ancient Italy. Another delicacy that the Spanish royal enjoys is a charan, also known as Spanish nougat Taran is a confessionary with a rich history. The word itself is reported to have been derived from the word torar in Catalan and the Latin words torero, which translates to roasting, and terra taken from tiroro, which translates to cloud of F. Turon has been a popular sweet for centuries. The culinary world has a long history of drawing inspiration for dishes from kings, queens, imperials, and various members of the nobility. After all, they were the ones who afford fancy feasts. Chefs have created many luxurious cakes, elaborate pastries, and rich stew that bear a royal namesake. After so many years of imbuing royal attributions to food, it can still be surprising to learn how many popular dishes, like the classic margarita pizza and the humble sandwich, now considered commonplace, carry on an unexpectedly imperial lineage. I hope you liked this new video. Don't forget to like, share and comment our videos. Don't forget to watch our old videos in our playlist. Thank you for your watching and thank you for your attention.